Good evening, YouTube. This is Mamma Ray George Page coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, this is something I saw while I was doing my little surfing, and I gotta speak on this because this guy is a legend. He's one of my favorite actors. I mean, you know, he's just you know, the movies. He, the list of movies he has done over his career are just expansive. He just, you know, one of these. I mean, you just can't, you know. Obviously, almost everything he's done has been classics. He had a few flops, but he has a lot of classics. And this is one Mr. Tom Cruise. Now, Tom Cruise is a legend. Y'all know him from movies like, the, you know, Top Gun, Risky Business, you know, Jerry Maguire, the whole um, Mission Impossible movie series. And it's just, he has been in this game for practically all 40 years, you might as well say. I mean, you know, now he was born... In upstate New York, around Syracuse, to a very, uh, very um, typical, atypical family, and Tom was really always an active kid, very popular. He was an athlete, and one point, he was going to think about joining the priesthood, <laughs> and like he did. Now he was born Thomas Cruz Maffer, Maffer, the fourth. I, his last name, so yeah, that's why I think he used his middle name, and that's a smart thing to do. And Tom, he has. He has so many movies over his career he's done. Now, he was in a movie called Taps in his early career. And it was a movie about a bunch of young boys who was in a military school. He was one, and remember the end of the movie, you saw that movie, it was, it was him and Timmy Hutton. I think Joyce C. Scott was the head of the school. And in the end, he was shooting at the people, and they, him and um, What's Face got killed in the end of the movie. And then later on, he did another movie, which is a classic mix in the book, The Outsiders. And it was a, 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 all of our up and comers. And, you know, yeah, Ralph Macchio, yeah, Mayo Estevez, he had. Uh, Rob Lowe, you had Matt Dillon, you had, you know, uh, C. Thomas Howell, and also you had Patrick Swayze, and, you know, and this was a, you know, it was pretty, I saw a movie when I was younger, it was a pretty good movie, and later on, he did a movie called All Right Moves, where he played a, a high school football star, and um, also he was in the movie, um, you know, Risky Business, it was a very popular movie, you know, it's a movie, even though today, they still people still do that, he, you know, we get his parents left home, he's sliding down the hall with his, with his underwear, that's a still classic thing. And then he did a movie like Legend, you know, which, you know, it's a little known movie, you know, it's a, a fantasy movie. I've seen it a long time ago. And also, he was in the movie um, The Color of Money with um, Paul Newman, but no, in that same year, he did the movie um, Top Gun, and which is a classic. Everybody knows Goose and them, and, you know, he's Maverick, and, you know, this young Top Gun pilot. It's a classic movie. And then later on, he did the movie um, Cocktails a couple years later, where he played a uh, a bartender, you know, and you know, it's it's, it's also another classic movie. And then with um the great um Dustin Hoffman, you know, he done the movie Rain Man, where two brothers, you know, one was raised, you know, separate from the other because the other one had a was in a, a home for the uh, mentally disabled. And you know, that was a movie that you know, if you know Dustin Hoffman won his, I think his second Oscar for or his first, I'm trying to remember. And also, he did a movie of born on the Fourth of July by a Vietnam vet. And this funny thing, he was born before the Fourth of July, so it's July third. And, you know, you know, one movie everybody remembers, Days of Thunder, where he plays a racer. And on that movie, he met his wife, Nicole Kidman. And him and Nicole married after he um, divorced his, his first wife, Mimi Rogers, who was the actress also. And then later on, they adopted a couple of kids, you know, and, you know, the father and, you know, two two kids and never had anyone their own. And then, you know, they also worked together movies like Far and Away. And also, uh, he later on started the movie, um, Few Good Men. And there was some people who controversy the movie, um, to interview the va to interview a vampire with um, Brad Pitt, the writer um, Anne Rice didn't like the idea of Tom Cruise playing uh, Lestat, but he did a pretty good job. It's a great movie. It's a classic, you know. But you know, I think she changed her mind about it. You know, even though he had to play a bad guy, this is one of the few movies he played a bad guy during his career. And then uh, it wasn't that long ago he played um, the, in the Mission Impossible, which is based on the old TV show. And he played Ethan um, Hunt. I mean, you know, everybody remembers that scene from the when we get into breaking into the uh, CIA. I mean, that's just a crazy scene. I mean, and that started the series. And then later on, he played in the movie Jerry Maguire with Cuban Gooden Jr., who also got his first Oscar. You know, he, he worked with a lot of Oscars. <laughs> but Tom was that talented. You know, show me the money. I mean, it's, it's a classic movie. And he later on some more movies later on, such as, um, you know, the, uh, uh, what's it, um, um, mm, you know, uh, I'm thinking of a movie called Wide Eye Shirt, Shirt with him and his wife, you know, um, you know, I think it was him and um, Nicole Kidman. I think the movie that's after that he had divorced. Then he did the uh, second Mission Impossible movie. And also he did a movie 
with uh, you know, after that, that's when they got divorced because that's the movie they did with Stan Kubrick. You know, it was the, it was a crazy movie. I never even saw that movie. It makes sense to me. And later on, he um, you know, you know, just kept on working after his divorce. He did some um, production and and uh, producing. He was in a movie called Vanilla Skies where he was dating an actress from Vanilla Cruise. You know, she was Cruise C R U Z. You know, she was a uh, actress from I think from Spain, I believe. And then he did the movie My Minority, Minority Report. With Steven Spielberg, and it's a classic. You know, we all watched that movie. You know, you know the part where you know he had to give it his eyes, so he can give another set of eyes. You know, and then he worked with Austin Powers. He did Austin like little cameo Austin Powers, and also he was in a couple of he produced a couple of movies back then. And then by two thousand three, he was in the movie The Last Samurai, and you know the white guy who's the Last Samurai. That's <laughs> crazy. And then he came up with the next, um, you know, um, Mission Impossible three and a couple other movies. And also, he was in the movie War of the Worlds, which was also, I think, another Steven Spielberg produced movie and directed. And it was, I watched that movie. It was a good movie, you know. And then he did, you know, he was, at the time, he was dating actress Katie Holm. And they became Tomcat, you know. And then, you remember, no, everybody remember the famous Jumping on the Couch at the Oprah Winfrey show years ago. And that was, wow, I think it was about 2005, 2004. Him and Katie got married, and eventually they had their first child together, and that was Surrey. And, you know, that's, just, you know, he's the father of both of nature and nurture, and that's special, you know, you know, and then he also did a movie called, uh, uh, a Tro uh Tropic Thunder, he was, he, he played his character, he was an agent, he was crazy, I mean, it was a crazy movie, you know, Matthew McConaughey, he had Ben Stiller, Ben Stiller had the impersonations of, uh, Tom in the past, and that was, you know, the work with him, I think, was a highlight for Ben's career, and then he, later on, he did some other movies, such as Collateral, with Jamie, uh, Fox, you know, one of his best movies, and then uh, there was, uh, after he left um, Paramount, he produced some movies. He was a movie like Lions, uh, Lions for Lambs and also Valkyrie and Night and Day. And then he, you know, played a, a musical Rock of Ages. But later on, he played another character called Jack Reacher based on another movie character. And, you know, that was a, a popular movie. I like Jack Reacher. It's pretty cool. And, you know, he did a movie called some flops like Oblivion and Edge of uh, Tomorrow. And those were that great movies. They weren't to me that great. I think he's just doing them to do them. Because, you know, he had a production company at that time. So he's trying to, you know, keep money back. But later on, he got back over Paramount. And he did the, uh, I think the fourth, or kind of the fifth Mission Impossible movie was, was Rogue Nation. I mean, and I think there's two more coming out. And there's also Fallout that came out after that. And then, you know, he did uh, The Mummy, which was a very bad movie. It was, I don't know why he did it. I think he, you know, I don't think it was something, it, was, it wasn't a very good movie. It just wasn't, and, you know, but you, everybody has a few flops. And then, you know, he put another, the other month Mission Park movie came up after that. And then he was kind of quiet for, for a bit because he was working on the upcoming return of Maverick in the Top Gun sequel, where his character got to work with his um, old partner's Goose's son. You know, my guess, you no, know, if I think about it, you know, Miles Taylor is too young to play the character Goose's son. Because remember, that movie came out around about 87. And Miles Taylor, I think he might be not even, you know, that close to, you know, I don't know. It's just, you know how time it is with these movies. I don't know how to do it. But the fact is, and that movie is became one of his first movies that made a billion dollars. And I think it was just for nostalgia. People who grew up watching the old Top Gun movie. I haven't seen it yet. I, you know, I'm maybe try to see it. Maybe which it comes on a... Uh, you know, streaming or something like that and watch it because, you know, was, the first one was a great movie. You know, even I think, um, you know, Val Kilmer made an appearance in it. But remember, Val Kilmer had the issue with the throat. So I guess I don't know how they reserve ever to talk or do the scenes. But um, Tom is a legend of being a producer or, the, you know, director, a man of Hollywood. I mean, you know, just these, you know, and just being like, can you believe he's 60 today? He's 60. And it looks like he might be in his early 50s. And, you know, he's still close with his um, adopted children, his his son and his daughter. And, you know, and he still has good friendships with people like Steven Spielberg and Jerry Bruckheimer, who he has made millions for. And, you know, his daughter, sorry, she's growing up. She is, you know, practically a teenager now. I mean, she, she seems like she was just born uh, yesterday. And, you know, there was one talk about him playing um, Tony Stark in the MCU. You know, but, you know, I, you know we all know we went to Robert Downey Jr., but there was supposed to be a plan that he was going to play Superior Iron Man in the upcoming um uh, the Doctor Strange movie, the um, the multi voice of madness. There was a plan for that because you know you had you know uh, people has been part of the Illuminati, but I don't know what happened with that. You know, I guess contracts and histories, whatever, because it's supposed to be an alternate version of Tony Stark. As you know, Robert Downey Jr. You know he you killed off Tony Stark, 
And, you know, he, the movie Maverick is going on good, and he also has a couple more, um, you know, Mission Impossible movies coming out. The guy's busy. He's a legend, you know, and he's working hard. I mean, you know, but, you know, this guy, like I said, he looks like he still can, you know, you know, get in the car and, in, in, uh, in, uh, you know, Days of Thunder. He looked like, you know, like I said, it's just unbelievable. And, you know, you know, he's been, I think, quite a few times the world's sexiest man. And, you know, you can't deny the man's sexy. <laughs> hey, guys, don't do the thing. I, I, a lot of respect for the guy. A lot of respect for the guy. But like I said, Tom Cruise is a legend. I mean, many of us who have grown up watch his movies and have gone to him and, you know, and just, you know, he's just one of these guys that just, you got to give respect. And that's why I'm doing this video to recognize him on his birthday. I do this with actors that I like, you know, I, you know, and he's one of those. So I want to recognize him and I want to wish him a very happy birthday. I hope he's enjoying it with his family and his friends, you know, and anything else, you know. And like I said, show me the money, Tom, because I can use some of your money. <laughs> but like I said, much respect to Mr. Tom Cruise. And I hope you enjoy his birthday. And, you know, and and thank you for all the entertainment you have given us over the years. It's me on always George Page. Um, like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out. Happy birthday, Tom.